city of Philadelphia. Check it out. It kind of looks like a, a mural painted on the sky. So two days ago, we arrived in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. All right, so last night we drove late and arrived in the Lancaster, Pennsylvania area. The only place we could find where we could dump our tanks was a KOA uh, campground kind of nestled in the um, country, <laughs> I should say, because it took many back roads to get here. So we're at a campground in Pennsylvania, and actually this is where Amish people live. Actually last night we saw two carriages. So about 95, 98% of the bus is done, so I figure I wanna stretch out that, that 2% over the course of the next, what, could be five years for all I know, I don't know. But I've got one piece of trim that I've had in the underbelly of the bus, and I'm gonna go ahead and put that in right now. So Ethan's getting his haircut. We got Elisha's done. Need to do Isaiah. Need to do Ashton, Arwen. Kira got a haircut last week. I did Shane's hair, I think, already last week. So we've got a, a few haircuts still before us. It's such an awesome day out. It's pretty cool because there's a family that lives right here in this house, right there. And um, they have this this uh, orchard that, that we're on here. You can see all these trees. There's trees all around, all around us over here. There's new planted trees over here. This orchard has been run by this family for about a hundred years, so that's that's pretty neat, and it's just beautiful around here. So, one of the things that uh, we've been able to do is is kind of walk around, see the different animals. They've got chickens here, and then of course it's pretty neat because this area is like Amish capital of the world, I guess. And there's you know many many Amish people, you know people riding around in horse and buggy, and people plowing their fields and working in their fields with just uh, mules and horses, and you know it's just a different culture, and it's interesting to see that. So you have a bunch of chickens, and then you have a duck who thinks it's a chicken. They have a couple pigs, and one of the pigs is getting ready to have her little piglets. So when you buy an apple at the store, the how old is it normally? Oh, anywhere from half a day to a year. A year? Yeah. No, seriously, we, we wow. store apples. We have Pink Lady in the cooler right now that'll probably last until September. And that's after we start harvesting. <laughs> they look good. Will you make it again? The same people around here are wearing it. You think she might not be? What's this? What's this? We were able to witness the birth of some piglets. It's so cool. So two years ago, we were in this area and Julie and I were able to go and see a production by Sight and Sound Theaters in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Very well done production. 
they're doing a production today actually um, titled Jesus so we're gonna go see that and we also get to have a behind-the-scenes tour so we are really excited about doing that and taking you along with us uh, we're just making what? some pancakes here so I haven't had my coffee yet because no one's making me coffee. Darwin's doing her hair. Oh, it's because Arwen's doing her hair. And the coffee machine sits idle. Guys, we are almost to Sight and Sound Theater. do our own personal tour with somebody where they'll take us behind the scenes. We're going in! Look at Enya, look. Look up there. Amazing. Look at this. Whoa. I'm Arwen. Arwen. Hi, nice Arwen. To you. Nice to meet you. Ashton. Nice to meet you. Oh yeah, this is Enya. <laughs> hey guys, this is our tour guide today. How many seats do you think we have in the theater? Does anybody want to guess? A um, thousand? We have about 2,047 seats. Wow. So this is better than IMAX, guys. called our actors lobby so it's the space between the dressing rooms and the stage so that right there is the stage and we're gonna walk out there in a minute but I'm gonna let you peek in the dressing rooms first um, we have almost 60 cast members in this show we typically cast the show two or three people deep so there are two different gentlemen that share the role of Jesus so they'll do like every other day mm -hmm. but when they're not playing the role of Jesus they play a different part in the show and our wonderful amazing wardrobe team <laughs> do, <laughs> good. Like, do a great job um, of keeping up all of the pieces and making sure the costumes for the right people are where they need to go this is um, a, one of the guys dressing rooms there's Peter's wigs and behind you are Peter's costumes um, and everyone has their own space and everything is very organized. <laughs> you wanna see? <laughs> Anyone want to guess how many costume pieces are in the show of Jesus? 2047. <laughs> no, I'm going to guess that there would be 250. We have around 800 wow. costume pieces and close to 300 hair and beard and mustache pieces in this show. Uh, there's a quick change in the show. The prodigal son has 15 seconds to completely change from one costume to another, and there's three different people that help him do that. I'm wondering where the dinosaurs are too. <laughs> this is where all of their hand props are, so all of the different swords and knives and bags and things that they use throughout the whole show, just so they can grab them on their way out and on the way to the stage. This is pretty cool, guys. The stage. And so if we walk over here, so the seats are all out that direction. And this wow. right here is our LED screen. So right now, what they have on there 
are, it's just the test screen before the show starts. But when the show begins, what this screen does is provides a backdrop for every single scene in the show. So it's in every scene. And it's made up of 1,200 individual panels. So each of these little squares is like an individual TV that's put together to make one big picture so that if some of the lights go out in it or if um, a horse kicks it or <laughs> a boat runs into it and there's damage to it, they can literally, in the middle of the show, they have to pop one square out and pop another one in and it's a seamless transition. The back of it's almost more impressive than the front in this state. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh my gosh. And so you can lift it up and mm -hmm. move a set and move forward. move a set forward and then it comes back down. That is and it unreal. can fly in and out in about 30 seconds. Is this like one of the most state of the art plays that this ever? Is, <laughs> or this is, is by far our most technological yeah. show. I mean, there's between the LED screen that's new for us this year, for, well, last year for this show, um, and some of the automated boat scenes that you see. This right back here is the temple set. Yeah. Um, there's three pieces to it that rotate, they move together, they move apart. Uh, the table right there is actually, you'll see it, it's one of, a lot of people talk about it after the show. There's a slow motion scene in the show and that table is a very big part of it. Okay. Uh, so there's slow motion pieces uh, within the whole temple set that wow. when they go into slow motion, I saw that the in the trailer. Yeah. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah, that's right there. Wow. <laughs> so um, it is by far our most technological show for sure. So what are these like built with? They um, have aluminum framing. This is all actually foam yeah. that has a hard coat on it. So we have a CNC machine that actually carves the foam for us. I, I just got a stage by a donkey. <laughs> Go ahead, you did. <laughs> There's several boats out here and the, some of them, not all of them, some of them are automated and run on an internal GPS system. So it, it just will move to where it's supposed mm -hmm. to be. Yeah, so don't touch, but you can look. This right here, the okay, actors yeah. in the boats actually drive these. Wow. So it's it kind of is the same uh, mechanism that you would use on like a motorized wheelchair, something along those yeah. lines. But they can sit in there and they drive the boats. This is the this is already set for the opening of the show. So when the sh the curtain goes up, these are the boats that you see, and there's actors on them, and they move all over the stage. But they're being driven inside by the actors. So we we finally made it to sight and sound and we're looking at the boats right now. So whenever okay. you see young Jesus with Joseph, that's going to be played by Brandon today and then Jonathan will be Jesus today. Awesome. Yep. So you guys want to tell them a little bit about your story? for? Yeah, like, so we're a family of uh, 10 that live and travel on a converted school bus. Oh wow. We've been on the road for been on the road for three years so oh my gosh we have a youtube wow. show and yeah really yeah. what's it yeah. called the bus, the bus life. life the bus life yeah, yeah. wow that's <laughs> awesome that's really cool yeah, yeah. we have Thanks. a guy in our cast that i think is playing andrew today cody mm -hmm. uh playing oh, yeah. andrew and he just converted a not a school bus but like a bus for him and his wife so that's our bus, bus. Yeah. That's <laughs> oh wow yeah that looks amazing. Wow. Too. And it used to be a yellow school, school bus. bus. It's an honor to have you guys here. Yeah. Yeah. Enjoy. It's an honor to be here. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. All right. Have a good show. Thank, Thank you guys. Thank you. Thanks for stopping. Thank you guys so much. Oh, you're so, so very exciting. welcome. It's yeah. an honor to have you guys here, yeah. and we hope you enjoy and look forward to seeing the piece when it's done. It's always fun. So we will take uh, four? four almonds. Four almonds? Yeah. I'm too sorry about that. Are these fresh? Yes, they oh. are. We just bagged them this morning. So that's 2714. Got our tickets. These almonds are amazing. Mm. Starts in four minutes. Four minutes. Three minutes. Four minutes. Two minutes. Still four. Julie took my almonds. Shane's on keto. Almonds are allowed on keto. Yeah, but they're coated in sugar. <laughs> Guys, the lights are dimming. I think it's about to start. 
You guys excited? Oh, yeah. This is it. I think it's going to be fun. It's going to be pretty cool. It's going to be exciting. I think it's pretty cool. It's awesome already. It's good. This man has lived in darkness, but today he will see the light. Who exactly is he? I heard he's merely the son of a carpenter. He's a miracle worker, a healer, a prophet. This Jesus is a rebel. We must stop this radical. The Pharisees in Jerusalem call him an outlaw. This would be a very bad time to choose his son. Everything Jesus does points to love. I have changed. And that is who Jesus says I am. One man did all this. He is alive in us, and he can live in you too. All right, guys, the curtains have come back down. The show is over, but it was really cool. I thought that was a really amazing um, play that they had, very professional, and the sets were amazing. The, um, the, the story all was amazing. Just <coughs> way better than a movie. I loved all the moving sets and all the animals running in and out. I thought it was pretty cool. A lot better than a movie. Yeah, the animals were really cool. The horses and the pigs and the goats is pretty cool. I just like all that is all amazing. It's time that we depart and head back out to the bus. Au revoir, Sight and Sound Theater.